I got a film in the mainstream short film contest, so uh, let's go check it out. Can you tell us what your name is and the name of your film? My name is Herbert Midgley, and I have a film call on the brick streets of Nacogdoches, Vice. Okay, what is one of the main struggles that you have with doing this um, short film? Probably the biggest struggle was uh, making a film during the pandemic. Um, I actually had this, this script actually written about a year before, and uh, it, because of all the things going on with lockdowns and closes and things like that, it took a little while to actually actually shoot this thing and I filmed it majority in uh, August to October then I edited it over the Christmas holiday. Was there any work in particular that you drew inspiration from in your film? Uh, absolutely. I'm a big fan of a lot of 80s uh, detective shows so this one was kind of based off a little bit of Miami Vice, uh, uh, I guess parts of the A-Team, parts of uh, uh, Magnum P.I. as well. So it was, it was really fun. We can't, wait to to see, we can't wait to see it. Well, thank you so much. And this is the uh, the mainstream film festival here in Carthus, Texas, right? Yeah. So, That's right. awesome. Thank you all for having me out. Thank, thank you. We're you. excited to see your film in the theater. Thank you all. Have a great day, y'all. You too. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So I'm just waiting for the film festival to start. I've got the program, and if we turn in there, look right there on the brick streets of Nacogdoches, right there, y'all. Hello, filmmakers. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a Q&A, okay? So what I'd like for you to do, I'll pass the mic, and uh, introduce yourself and tell the audience uh, who you are, what film you're with. I'm Herbert Midgley, and I'm the director of the Brick Streets and Nacogdoches Vice. <laughs> tell, us, tell us about the creation of the project, why it came about, and how you went about making it, okay? I really like uh, making films. I love to act, and I love to compose music, so it's an amazing process. And uh, this is actually a second, I uh, made another film, the original one, and so this is the second in a series, so there's one more going to come out at some point. <laughs> Can you each tell the audience maybe one thing that you learned about filmmaking in this process? Um, after film school, I set a goal to make an independent short film every, um, every year, and the um, last couple of years with the pandemic, that didn't happen, so editing, filming, really shows how much I love making films, and I was just so happy to get back into the editing room and everything so I think it just really shows how much I just love making films. In this particular film, I, um, I, don't, I don't always do this, but I set some obstacles. I used a, a camera with one lens, a zoom lens, and a handful, not my best lights, it's a handful of lights to carry around and a lot of gels. Um, and I, I like doing that as a challenge because in some ways, having, to me, having obstructions actually makes uh, the process um, more fun, more challenging, and you know what? I can use some more lights, but I don't have any more lights, so um, I gotta roll. <laughs> and I think a lot of times folks get really tech heavy on the cameras and whatnot. I'm using a, a Canon AED um, and a, a, basically a kit lens called a 24 to 105 uh, f4 lens. And uh, I have a lot of other lenses in that. I love I love lenses, um, but that was something I did in this particular one. And one. The reason was because I needed to shoot it fast also to just get it out. So um, I have a lot of equipment, but I chose to use a handful because you can use your phones and make amazing content today. Uh, even, even though I write pretty much everything I film, when I, have, when I work with actors, their input can take something to a different level that I've never imagined. And uh, even though that was a comedy, there they, they would give some input and, and whatnot, and you're collaborating. And it makes a better screenplay, it makes a better filmmaking experience by working with the individuals that are actually saying the lines. Here are the nominees for the Lone Star Nutrition Best Actor Award in the Independent Film category. David Cameron.
Jacob Harper. Harper Beasley. Nico Arcuri. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I really don't know what to say. I, I, I love acting. I've been working on it for a lot of years. And uh, I am just really, really, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all so much again. Thank you. Thank you. On the Patrice and Akadocha. So I got two awards here. Wow. At the Main Street Short Film Festival at the Esquire 2022. I won Best Actor of an Independent Film. And also the on the Brick Streets and Nacogdoches Vice won third runner up. So we got two awards for the on the Brick Streets and Nacogdoches Vice. Wow, I'm shocked. The 2022 uh, Main Street Short Film Festival here in Carthage, Texas, on the Brick Streets and Nacogdoches Vice got two awards. One as third runner up in an independent film, and the other one is best actor in an independent film. Myself as best actor, I am so happy and. Uh, I'm really honored that I got chosen as best actor because I've been working on my, on my acting for so many years. And uh, my first award as an actor. Wow. Well, I am now an award-winning filmmaker and an award-winning actor. Can you believe that? Wow, compute that. <laughs>